Hello, this is Robert McKim, founder and president of the Community Awareness and Emergency Response Security Radio Patrol. Hence the word security. When I was in REACT from 1984 to 1986, when re be, uh, re even when React disbanded, and in 1987, me and some other friends and family got together and got a charter with the uh, uh, American Federation of Police, National CB Radio Patrol, and started an organization under them, under the National CB Radio Patrol name. Everything I'm doing is on the up and up. I took police officer training in 1992. And it doesn't expire. Excuse me. Like some idiots think it does. It doesn't expire. A lot of people just totally disregard and disrespect the badge. Whether it's a police officer's badge... A deputy sheriff's badge, highway patrol badge, or a security officer's badge. They just totally, totally disrespect the authority that goes along with that badge. Whether it's a patch badge sewed on to the uniform. Or a metal badge. It is still a badge. And it still holds authority. But people today, they just totally disrespect the badge. Period. Oh, there's a, they just re disrespect me. That's because they disrespect the badge. No ends, it's a buds about it. They disrespect the badge and they disrespect the authority that goes along with it. Oh, you don't got authority. I have authority. You just don't want to recognize it because you want to be stupid. And there are a lot of stupid people on the internet. There's a lot of stupid people in this world that think they are better than everybody else and what comes out of their rear end hole doesn't stink what well, does and they stink as well because they have what's called stinking thinking and their heart is not right whatsoever if they had a heart they would uh, wake up for once in their sorry lifetime and realize what they're doing wrong but they don't want to Doing some research on Walmart.com and uh, on the app as well. I found Walmart's refund policy. Refunds. We refund Walmart.com return submitted in store or by mail to you. To your original method of payment. Your original method of payment. And of course, you know, it goes on talking about shipping. Refund timelines. Credit debit cards, prepaid, Walmart, PayPal. Oh, what does this say right here? EBT Snap Card. Up to three days, um, excuse me, three hours. Healthy, healthy benefit plus OTC card. Up to five business days. So they can, in their refund policy, refund EBT and healthy benefits. They can. 
It's right there in their policy, right there in black and white. On their website, on the app, you can look it up. You just type in refund policy. Then there'll be something else you'll have to type, uh, click on to uh, get to it. Let me see here. I can show you. It'll say right here uh, when you type in refund policy, there'll be this blue bar right here that will come up on your uh, computer and you click on view. And it'll take you to the refund policy page here. And it says right here. Refund timelines. EPT snap card, they can refund. Healthy benefits, they can refund. Otherwise, it would not be on the list. They just are flat out refusing to refund my money that they stole. Wake up before it's too late, people. Walmart just does not want to refund money if it if they steal more money than what they should have received. In my they're thieves. They are pure and simple thieves. Walmart is stealing your money. And you know what? I'm not rich. I'm on Social Security SSI. That's why I get these extra benefits. Benefits because... Well, some people think what they're stinking thinking. That's because, you know what, stinks, and they're bound up, and they're thinking what they're stinking thinking. Think about it, you know what I'm talking about. If you really think about it, you know what I'm talking about. Do the right thing for once. Wake up before it's too late. 